Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another bag review video today. If you can't tell by the title, it is for the Louis Vuitton uh, pochette accessoire. So this is the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire. I have it in the monogram canvas. Um, obviously, uh, the multi pochette accessoire is super popular right now and um, you get sort of a version of this in that. Um, but this is the predecessor to that and it's just a single version that comes on its own. Um, and I purchased this bag back around 2018 um, because I wanted, the real reason was I wanted to complete, complete my little uh, Louis Vuitton canvas clutch trifecta. So I had the Eva clutch in the Damier Azur print, I had the PM favorite in the Damier Ipin print, and this was the last one to round out the trifecta in the um, monogram print. So when I was first debating which monogram print clutch I wanted to buy, originally I was looking at the Palace clutch, um, which I I'll insert a picture for, um, but I sort of decided against it because it was double the price of this at the time. Um, interesting, it seems the palace clutch is now um, discontinued, I can't seem to find it on the website, um, and as well as the favorite and the Eva clutch, which is interesting, but I digress. Um, I decided to go with this because it was like half the price of the palace clutch um, and it just seemed it was a little bit more minimalist. I liked that it was just sort of a more of a basic bag that would be able to fit a ton of stuff. Um, and that was really my main reason, plus I wasn't sure if I liked the Maxar print on, or sorry, the Maxar leather on the Palace Clutch. I just wanted sort of the basic with the classic Louis Vuitton Bachetta. So when I purchased this bag, it was around 650 Canadian, which I think is more reasonable for Louis Vuitton and for a bag of this size. Now I just looked on the website and it is $825 Canadian, which is quite insane considering that that is more than my Speedy 30 cost back in the day. Um, so that just goes to show you how crazy um, price increases are on luxury goods. Um, this bag used to come in the Demi Azur print and the Eben print. Originally I wanted it in Eben, um, but I couldn't seem to find it. It seems to be difficult to find in stores. It's actually um, out of sale, on, sorry, out of stock online as well too. So this bag in general is difficult to come by. I couldn't even put my name down on a wish list for it. Um, it just happened to be there when I walked into the boutique one day to look around, so I grabbed it and I guess I was lucky about that. These are still pretty hot on the resale market. I think generally any Louis Vuitton SLGs are a pretty hot item on the resale market and they do more or less retain their value, so um, if I were to sell this now, I would probably gain a little bit of money from it, which is kind of cool. So this bag measures 9 inches across, um, it is 5 inches in height and then 1.5 inches at the tallest, sorry, at the largest part of the base so it is slightly triangle shaped and that does affect what you can fit in the bag I find um, I can't fit as much as if this were sort of a rectangular shaped bag rather than triangular it is of course in the um, full monogram canvas so on all sides you're gonna see the monogram but it has a little bit of a shutter here this one was made in France if you can see that's focusing so it does come with the two clasps here, um, and the bag does not come with a strap, which I'll touch on a little bit more later, um, but it does come, sorry, it doesn't come with a crossbody strap, but it comes with this strap. I'm not going to attach it right now because it's a little bit of a pain. So one side does connect with a lobster clasp, so that is super easy and you can do that really quickly, um, but this part connects with a leather like pull-through tab. So what you have to do is loop sorry, so stick this through and then loop this through this leather tab opening here. And I don't like that because it makes it, number one, it's more difficult to take it on and off the bag, so there's more time investment there and just difficulty. And I think that it leads to this just leather tab looking a lot more worn more quickly and possibly being more damaged. So there's a little bit of wear already on the leather tab, even though I never really use it. I took this strap off the bag pretty much as soon as I got it because I knew I wouldn't wear it. I know that it's like, it really harkens back for me to like those little shoulder bags that we all wore in the 90s and the early 2000s. And I get that that's 
that's a vibe right now, um, but I'm just not into it. I think I'm sort of anti-90s fashion, even though I grew up in the 90s, it's just like not, um, I don't know, it's just not my jam. So what I do like to do is to use my own straps that I have, so I often take these straps from the Eva clutch or the Favorite clutch and use them on the um, Pochette Accessoire instead. Or I also purchased this gold chain from, I think it was eBay, um, it was either eBay or Etsy, um, but it's just a gold simple bag chain with the two lobster clasps here. So those are easy to attach and this is most often what I use with this bag. I think it makes it a little bit more dressy and it's just cute and I love it way more than using that leather strap from the 90s. So in terms of pros for this bag, it is really durable and that's just like the power of Louis Vuitton canvas. Like it's really not going to scratch unless you're absolutely awful to this bag. If you show it any level of care, it's going to be fine and it will like look pretty new for years to come. So I love that about it. Um, obviously Louis Vuitton zippers are amazing. They're just so smooth and comfortable to use. Um, I find that this bag is pretty versatile. So because um, you can take off these straps completely, that makes it really easy to use and you can use whatever straps you want with it. You can also just use it as a clutch like this if you want to. Um, so there's lots of different ways that you can wear it. And the other thing that, well, I loved about this bag when I first purchased it was its price point. I think that it's still a pretty good bag um, to purchase at this price point if you want a little bit of luxury but you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, I think this is a really great investment to get that little touch of Louis Vuitton. As for cons that I find in this bag, I don't like that it doesn't come with a crossbody strap. That was really annoying to me and it made me reconsider if I made the wrong decision and should have purchased the palace clutch instead, but since I've been reusing the other straps that I have from my bags on this, I find that it's okay and I can sort of deal with it. It's not that big a deal to me now, um, but it is a little bit annoying. I wish it did come with its own strap. At one point I did consider purchasing one. I think they're around $200 on the Louis Vuitton website, but I just sort of couldn't couldn't bring myself to do that so um, that's annoying and I think that also factors into the price point as to why it's so cheap because for some reason as soon as you add a crossbody strap it jacks up the price like I don't know three four hundred dollars um, so it's just something to be mindful of. Um, you can always, of course, purchase your own straps um, that don't have to be Louis Vuitton branded. The other thing I'm not a fan of with this bag is the fact that it is triangle shaped instead of just sort of rectangular shaped. Because of that triangle, it really limits what you can fit in the bag. Um, so everything that's sort of wider or think you have to sort of play a little bit of bag Tetris. I find I have to play a little bit of bag Tetris in order to fit everything that I want into the bag just because of this triangle shape. And because it's a zipper, um, I guess that's emphasized. So I find like even though the favorite clutch is also triangle shaped, I don't have the same um, I guess annoyance with it because of the flap shape it can just easily flap over things and I don't have to worry about um, things sort of bulging and not fitting in the bag or the zipper looking wonky because I've overstuffed it um, whereas this it tends to look overstuffed really easily which is annoying to me so here's what the inside of the bag looks like um, it is just the Louis Vuitton canvas in the brown um, and you've got a little slip pocket here really simple there isn't really much to see um, but that's what the inside looks like. So since we're talking about awkwardly fitting things in this bag, let's see what fits. Um, so I'm just gonna start with the things that I usually bring with me. If you've watched any of my other bag reviews, you'll know this is what's in my bag already. So I'm gonna start with my Chanel Ozip case, Ozip, sorry, Ozip wallet. Um, and I'll just slide that in that way. Then my push-up accessoire, no, sorry, my key clay. Um, I. Because the Chanel, oh, sorry, <laughs> I just discovered something. So because my Chanel O-Zip case um, is pretty wide, usually, well, I thought I couldn't um, fit my um, key clay also horizontally, but it just fits. So let's, let's just go with that. But usually what I do is I put it vertically so it sits like that, if you can see. Um, but okay, I'm gonna put it flat so they're both stacked like that right now. Um, and other things I bring, so my little medicine pouch, um, my Listerine breath mist, my hand cream in a Tatcha um, container, 
uh, hand sanitizer, lip balm number one and lip balm number two. Um, okay, so that's looking quite full already. If I fit my phone, which is a 10S. Okay, so here's how everything's fitting. It's quite squishy. Um, and if I zip it up, okay, so it does zip up, but look how it's puckering like that. Like the zipper is just sort of wonky. I, it, and it looks even worse for, like, from the side. So I'm not a fan of this. Um, this is what I usually carry with me. Actually, I also usually carry my other um, work phone, but it's not, you can see this is already not fitting things well, so it's not gonna fit in here either. Um, so let me repack it how I would usually pack this bag. So when I use this bag, I find I do have to pare down a little bit. So I'm gonna start with my phone, the 10S, um, and then my push-up accessoire. Then I'm gonna put my toiletries, so sort of hand cream, sorry, hand sanitizer, lip balm. Um, I'll just bring one lip balm because I don't need to. And then my um, breath mist, hand cream. And what I'm gonna bring instead of my Ozip wallet is just this little sort of card case. Um, and I'm not gonna put my things in it now because I don't need to demonstrate. It's pretty much the same size whether I put things in or not. Um, so this is my little card case that I like to use when I wanna be minimalist. It's not from any like major brand. I actually don't even know what the brand is. It's some Italian brand. I don't know if you can see that there. Um, and I just got it from a, like a little leather store in my building and I haven't found a luxury card holder I like. I've purchased them in the past, but I just always end up going back to this because it's so convenient. So it's got um, the two um, pockets on either side that I stick credit cards in, but it's also got a zipper pocket in the middle so I can put cash in there. I generally like to use cash anyway or just have some coins on me in case because you never know when you might need cash. Not everything is card based these days, so um, I can stick it in there and that takes up so much less space than my Chanel Ozip case. So they're roughly the same size, but so much thinner. Um, so this just allows me to be more minimalist and then I can stick that in. So this definitely fits everything a lot better, but I have had to downsize my wallet and I can't actually, okay, so here's my medicine like pouch and it does fit. I think it does fit, yeah, okay. So there, that works. I can fit everything. It just means I have to switch out my wallet because my regular wallet is too large. If I zip it up now, that looks a lot better. We've got no puckering in the zipper. Um, yeah, that look, works way better. So that's what I would usually pack in this bag. So let's do a couple mod shots. So this is what it looks like if you use the strap that it originally comes with. Um, so obviously you can fit that on your shoulder. If you're wearing a big bulky jacket, this has a little bit of a dolman sleeve, so this is not the best example, but um, it does fit on your shoulder quite comfortably like this. And just for reference, I'm around five foot five. Um, if you wanna carry it in the crook of your arm, you can do that too. Or it also works great as a clutch to just hold it like this and you can take off the strap too if you want but I'm just leaving it on for now to show for example sake it's really comfy under the arm as well so obviously those are some of the ways to wear it with the strap that it comes with but I'll be honest like I said I never wear it with that because it's just not my vibe um, this is how I usually wear it with the um, gold uh, chain strap that I purchased from eBay um, and I just secured on both ends. I do find that this gold strap is a little, sorry, this gold chain is a little bit long too so I just um, tie a knot in it here. It's easy to undo and then I can wear it like a shoulder bag or I can also wear it crossbody. And this is how I wear it most often. It's just super comfortable. It's easy to reach in and grab whatever you need and then put it back. So what is my verdict on this bag? I think it's a great bag. I, 
I do love it. I want to say this as well, like if I had the money to keep all the bags that I wanted, I would, but sadly I don't. So this is one of the bags that's actually on the chopping block for me, um, just because I'm looking to pare down my collection. I don't want to have as many things um, just sort of sitting around that I don't use. And this is a bag that I don't reach for that often. Honestly, I feel like I kind of only bought it because I wanted to complete my Louis Vuitton trifecta and you should never collect things just for the sake of collecting. It should always mean something and be important to you and this just doesn't fit that bill for me. Um, number one is I'm not a huge fan of the logo, like the monogram logos as much anymore. I used to be into it, but these days, I don't know, it's just like a little bit too much for me. So I feel quite conscious about wearing it. Um, of the trifecta, the bag that I use the most is the favorite. So that one is definitely sticking around, at least for now. Um, but this one, I just feel like I don't need a trifecta of bags. Um, and I don't know. I'm sad to be parting with it, but I think that it'll be a great addition to someone else's collection. I think it'll be really helpful for them. Um, and yeah, I, as much as I love this bag and I would actually highly recommend it, I'm just not planning to keep this bag for now, which, but it really hurts my heart that I'm not keeping it. So that's my review on the Louis Vuitton push-up accessoire and the monogram canvas, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this, please give it a like down below so that it can help promote my channel. If you liked my content and want to see more, please subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below telling me what you think of this bag. Do you have it? What do you think? Um, is it on your wish list? I'd love to hear from you and if there's any content that you want me to um, focus on that I haven't yet done on my channel, please let me know. I'd love to hear what you want to see from me. So thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great one. Bye.